So hi guys, uh, yes I'm Rufaro and this is it but this is not a podcast like usual However it's, I, I don't know, is it better than a podcast? I mean it's only the biggest tech unboxing we've ever done Yeah Ever? I mean we have done a lot of smartphone reviews, unboxings but this is a lot of tech Oh, So to start off we've got a camera right over here Fancy camera, it yeah, to walk us through with the specs and everything that's in there then we've got some kindles you know for those of you who are digital natives and want to read your books and uh, more kindles like six of them then storage you gotta have some storage here. you can never have enough storage so my SD cards over here and then more stuff that goes along with the camera so the camera is for streaming so I've got some audio receivers over here uh, I've got this thing, I honestly don't know what this thing is. It probably knows. <laughs> uh, this is a Hyper Studio Desk Mini. So if you are live streaming, this is what will facilitate you being able to connect your digital camera or your camcorder to your PC. And a lot of other stuff. It can also record your video live stream. A bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff. We'll get into it. And then we have another thing for live streaming. Clearly, someone's biased towards videos, eh? Uh, <laughs> this is for audio, I think. Audio this video. is yeah. This is an audio desk, so it's it's an eight-channel input. Uh, is it? More to come. More to come. More to come. <laughs> and then we have a bunch of cables. Yeah, HDMI cable. And then some power packs. Heavy power packs. Oh, heavy power packs. Now, what are the power packs for, you might be asking, or last but not least, I've got laptops, I've got an HP NV17, 17 inch something? Yep, HP NV17T, it's coming through with an 8th gen Core i7 processor, an NVIDIA GeForce MX150 GPU, and a whole lot of storage. Yes, and it looks very fancy. And last... My favorite, got the Dell Inspiron 157000. Ah, these guys don't know how to name their products. They call it the Dell 757 and it's a gaming laptop. It's got a Core i7 though, 7th gen, uh, and it's got 6 gigabytes of VRAM. That is like the best part. Why I like this laptop? 1060. Uh, GTX 1060 Max Q, so yeah. Uh, Take us through with more of the specs of the other stuff that we jumped. Okay, so um, let's start off with the camera. Now the camera is a Canon XA15. It is a digital camcorder and yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the bag so we can go through that. Now this right here is a handle which connects some external XLR inputs. There you go. So it's some audio from the audio disc that you can go through there. It also has some buttons for some soft zoom and the record button. We have the lens canopy. It's the stuff that goes in front of the lens so that it just kind of uh, blocks out external light. Makes your videos look better. We also have this which is a battery pack for the camcorder. And last but not least, we have the camcorder. There we go! Canon XA11. It has a 3.5 inch touch display over there for some multifunction, multifunction controls. You have an SD card slot there which takes up to two SD cards so that you can record directly onto the camcorder. You have the viewfinder over there where you can look through the eyepiece. There is the zoom buttons right over there for soft zoom and hard zoom. This is the front where that lens cover will go. So if you just open that and there we go. Oh, that's just a, camera. That's how it is. And then this handle will go on top of the camera like so. We're getting there. We're getting there. There we go. And then you screw it on. 
just to fasten it and keep it, you know, sturdy. And then the battery goes right at the back over there. And yeah, that's about it. I think it should turn on now. Or the battery's out of juice. They say anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Yeah. yeah. So it needs a top up. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, uh, that's with it with the camera. Next are uh, the candles. So over here, I've got Kindle Paperwhite. Here's your standard Kindle and the micro USB for charging. Most people just use this to read books. So yeah, it's a perfect device. It's a perfect electronic device to read your book because that's all it can do. Read stuff on it. No distractions with social media or anything. You're focusing on one thing. And the cool thing about it is they used what they call an e-ink display. So this allows this Kindle to last for even two weeks before you charge it again. So good for those vacations. Long bus rides, Zessa power cuts, you name it. <laughs> <laughs> so next up we have these uh, wireless audio receiver so what basically these do are um, you can hook one of these up to a person who's presenting and then that will be the transmitter and then the receiver you can hook it up to the audio disc so it then allows you to collect the audio of someone who's speaking at an event without any wires the person can move around be free to do what they want untethered because the microphone is wireless I know, it has a gold card on it. So this is actually a Black Magic design box. So it's designed by a company called Black Magic. It's really popular when it comes to the audio video, audio video side of the industry. So this is actually a streaming box that can allow you to stream of, to stream to resolutions of up to 4K. Now if we look at the back here, right over there, you can see that there is the power input where you connect some AC it has a USB type C port it has an Ethernet so that you can connect it directly to the internet and stream directly from the box probably you won't need a PC more to come more to come yeah I've got this thing and what is that thing <laughs> So this is an 8 input 2 bus mixer with uh, Zenic Mics preamp and British EQs. Basically, it's a really, really tiny portable audio desk. So what this does is it has some inputs where you can connect your mics, you can connect mostly your microphones and it allows you to collect the audio that's happening at an event and then you can send it through the speakers or if you're live streaming you can also forward it to the equipment that's doing the live streaming so that whoever is on the mic they can be heard in your live stream i mean if you were to just use your phone for live streaming and the person who is talking at the far end of the room has a mic probably you know you know oh. mm. now to the fun stuff i'm not an audio geek or a video geek but this I can appreciate. This is an HP NV17T. It's a very big laptop, 17 inch laptop. It's got an IPS display. It's got Windows Hello. Yeah, we're helping each other carry it because it's that heavy. <laughs> Probably almost two kilo. It's a premium design. It's got a really big touchpad, big display, full island keyboard, the type that you can repair. Uh, jumping into the inside, it's got some Bang and Olufsen tuned speakers. It also has an 8th gen Core i7, an NVIDIA GeForce MX150 GPU with 4 gigabytes of dedicated VRAM. Right over here we have the Leonard Eyelet. Uh, it's what you'll use to secure your PC if you're gonna leave it in an office or whatnot. Very rare case in my case, but yeah. And then over here we have this crocodile jaw type uh, ethernet port nice touch we've got an hdmi port we've got two usb 3.0 ports one usb type c port a uh, headphone jack you don't see those <laughs> lying around on many phones these days and over here we have an sd card slot uh, we scoot over to the other side and lo behold 
A DVD drive. I mean, ancient technology. You know, ancient, ancient, but it works. And then we have another USB 3.0 uh, port right over there and power a power port. Power 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 yeah. yeah, power port, power port. And this is the Dell 7577 gaming laptop. And it's got a Core i7 7th gen uh, HQ processor. It's got 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's got a 6 gigabyte GTX 1060 video uh, graphics card. And going on to the ports, here we've got the lock port, uh, the Kensington lock. We've got the power port, and then we've got Ethernet, one gigabyte per second, USB 3.0, uh, SD card slot. And then on the other side, we have a headphone jack, USB 3.0, USB 3.0, USB Type-C with Thunderbolt, which means you can hook up an external GPU or other displays, and then an HDMI cable, and a really nice keyboard, and it also doubles up with a fingerprint button right over there. So for your Windows Hello also, you can log in that way securely. Uh, so yeah, it's an interesting fact that uh, this Dell and my HP, they have the same exact number of ports. Three USB 3.0 ports, one Type-C with Thunderbolt, one HDMI. I mean, it's impressive. And headphone jack. <laughs> you can't forget the headphone jack. It's been a fun unboxing. Biggest unboxing ever at Texan. Hope you liked this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, tell a buddy. And let us know what you think in the comments down below and you know we also have a podcast that we're doing so do check that out and leave your comments you know tell us what you'd like us to talk about and even you can hear us up and you could be a guest on the podcast as well and we also have takes them unboxing where if you have interesting gadgets that you recently bought you can actually send us a video of your own unboxing and we'll feature it on our youtube channel and social media if it's you know up to Yes. Standard. All credits go to you. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Uh, this is Rafaro signing out. This is Edwin. I'll see you in the videos. Yeah. Bye. Peace. <laughs> he does that even in the videos. <laughs> I thought it was the podcast thing.